wants to say hi, bud. It's not a big fuss. You don't have to make a big fuss. Come on. Get out of there. Basically, five things that you forgot to do as a dog owner if you're living in an apartment. So I have these five tips that'll help you, all right, because you forgot them. So <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> you forgot them because you landed on this video. So one thing, number one, and I see this at my apartment, is poop bags. Yep, if you have a dog, you're expected to pick up your dog's droppings. It's not hard, it's not gross, it doesn't get on your hand. Ooh, big deal. Over yonder is where Lee is. Should we go visit her? Surprise, Lee. Being far away. It looks close, actually is close, but I'm too lazy. This is just supposed to be the quick walk. Okay, as a dog owner, come on. I, I get embarrassed to be honest with you. It's like, if I'm, if I don't have a poop bag and I forgot one, uh, then, you know, and then, like the dog goes to the bathroom on like somebody's property, even when no one's looking, I'm like somebody, somebody saw me do that. So whether it's uh, the NSA or Joe Schmo who picks up garbage for a living, I get embarrassed. You know, it's, uh, it's, and, but people here don't. They don't, they just, like it's a normal thing. It's not a normal thing. Do not get into this habit. Dog poop bags, keep them everywhere. Keep them in your car, keep them in your purse, keep them in your pockets, like randomly in just a pocket. You know, most jackets have like a pocket. Just, just throw one in, just, just toss one in there. Not a big deal. Keep, keep a bag in, in all places where you may be like, oh, I have a dog poop bag. Now, the bet, well here, and here's a trash can up here, thank goodness. The best thing I can do, tell you, to, to store the poop bags is gonna keep you on point with this. This is what we use. This is just a little zipper pouch that goes right onto her leash and she that there's bags always in there they're, they're supposed to come out of this little slot like hole right here uh but it doesn't work now this everybody's gonna ask what's le what's the leash let's talk about her leash come here it's from one tigers all right that's a company you can find on amazon has a bunch of dog stuff and there you go her leash is from canine tactical gear and it's obviously super sick she has the big frog clamp on there so it's basically that is for like a caged zoo animal not for this little dog but she has the whole nine everything that you need there and that's the top of the line if you want to go all out and get dog leash top of the line for your dog that is how you do it now you don't have to get this big thick one they have other good ones too for smaller dogs or for dogs that aren't crazy like her so there's that okay number two Okay, so I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Will, I already seen all these videos like this before. What else could you possibly show me? I've even seen your video on 10 things to get as a puppy apartment dog owner. Now, dog owner, puppy owner, whatever, doesn't really matter. Like I said, if you don't have the basic things down as a dog and your dog is a dog, not a puppy anymore, then, you know, get a cat. So, one thing that I think is can help you for when you're walking your dog because you're going to be doing lots of dog walking. It's not like you can just let your dog out back and run around. It's a pain in the butt, you know, you have to get up, set schedules, you have to, you know, wake up in the morning, you have to con constantly walk the dog, and um, that's fine. Now, people who just go out there to let the dog do the bathroom and then come in, it's like, you know, again, it's like, why'd you even get a dog? 
I know some people like me, I end up in a situation that wasn't kind of planned. So we're kind of in this apartment thing now for, for the time being. And it's kind of like, ah, oh, man, like I'm used to just being able to let the dog out and, and do whatever. So, but we make sure that she goes out for a good amount of time. We've been taking her to the dog park. Lee took her once already. I took her, we took her together. And, uh, you know, so there's that. But anyway, with all those dog walks and stuff, uh, you know, their paws are getting um, really super dirty. There's a lot of nasty uh, stuff going on out there, corona, all that other thing, so, things like that. And, um, you know, out here there's like a lot of Canadian geese and there's seagull poop everywhere and, and stuff like that. So uh, disinfectant wipes. This is a big one. Uh, so we wipe her paws down every time we come in the door. And so uh, disinfectant wipes. Baby wipes, paw wipes, they have special wipes for dogs and stuff, whatever flushable wipes you want to get. Uh, but disinfectant wipes, I would definitely include in there other than just regular wipes because, you know, who knows what they're stepping in. And, you know, wash your hands, wash your paws, you know, wash your paws, dog. Uh, so this goes kind of hand in hand with it, but this is another one because it's separate item. So um, this is a brush. These come in handy. This is her paw brush. This is the only thing I use with this is for before we come in the apartment, if they're really bad, I will take her out on the deck and I'll brush her uh, nails. It's basically for her nails. Uh, you don't have to use this one, but I find this to work pretty damn good. And uh, it gets all the dirt out of her nails and, and your stuff gets all clogged up in that little fang nail and everything. So this works really good. And so uh, the brush and the wipes, there's uh, two and three. So for number four, this is something uh, that you probably hear maybe sometimes, but storage is a big thing. When you live in a little area like this, make sure you have a place for everything, a place for their a place for them to sleep, a place for their toys, a place for the food, a place for their treats. We have like a designated cabinet for her. We have her uh, main food storage, which is over there on the ground. And it's basically, it goes, it goes in there. I was just uh, messing around with some stuff, so it's kind of all over. But, <clears throat> um, you know, everything has a place. so. When you do that, you utilize your your space in your apartment better, and it's also easier to like wake up. You know, you don't have to like you know just lift the lid for the food. It's in the fresh bin, dump it in the bowl, and bang. I do got a video coming out soon. If you guys like this content so far, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like. I have a video coming out on how to fresh uh, do uh, fe fresh. We're gonna feed her fresh food for now on. Uh, for not for now on, but like we're gonna do like a mix half day half. So half day kibble, half day uh, fresh food. So vegetables, chicken, rice, stuff like that. So we're putting her on a new diet. So make sure you subscribe, like, hit the bell for notification. If you wanna be a Patreon member, that's the best way to support the channel. All those links will be below. You guys know how to like, you know how to subscribe. Do that for me, I love you all. Thank you very much for that. And let's go to number five. Number five is something I don't see enough of because I see a lot of dog owners that just keep their dog dishes on the ground. Do not do that. Make sure you get the height one. That's a high raised up dog dish. This is very important for their joints and bones in their neck and everything. So you want to get it high. Don't get one too high because then they're, they'll be trying to like reach in and like eat. So yeah, check out, uh, do that for sure. Cause it'll definitely help your dog's long-term uh, lifespan. So uh, that's my five quickies. If you guys have anything to add, please put it in the comments.
So that is my five apartment, I guess they're called little hacks. We'll, we'll label this video like little apartment hacks for dog owners or something like that. That you forgot already or five more items that you forgot. I don't know how I'm going to label it yet. Either way, thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Patreon link below as I said before. And until next time, I love you all. Peace.